Saudi Arabia has announced plans to construct the world's largest and most extravagant yacht. The Terayat idea started in the 2009 when the designer Pierpaolo Lazzarini conceived a giga yacht structure capable of hosting an entire city. According to designers, Lazzarini hopes that construction could start in 2033 with a build time of eight years. The ship is named after Pangaea, a supercontinent that once existed on Earth, making space for multiple hotels and shopping centers, also parks, a built-in marina, and an airport. The $8 billion project will see the creation of Pangaeos, a megayacht shaped like a giant sea turtle, complete with swimming pools, helipads, and luxury accommodations for up to 50 people at any one time. The project is being funded by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund and is expected to take 20 years to complete. Tourism is also seen as one of the primary sources of revenue. And while it'll cost $8 billion just to build, experts predict the development will create over 450,000 new jobs. The Pangios Island is set to be one of the most luxurious and sustainable tourist attractions in the world. The design includes a turtle-shaped island, which is 550 meters long and 610 meters wide. It will house 50 villas, each with its pools and private beaches. It will also have an underwater restaurant that can seat up to 200 people, two helicopter pads, restaurants, shopping centers, and even a casino. The whole structure will be made out of concrete and steel, but it will take at least 10 years before any construction begins on the project due to financial restraints. Pangios is set to be built on an artificial island, which will span 4 square kilometers and house up to 300,000 people. It will also host 10,000 businesses and feature luxury hotels and shopping districts. The city will be located off the east coast of Saudi Arabia, near Al Karj and approximately 30 kilometers from Qatar's capital Doha. A small fishing village has been taken over by the project, but there are no public roads linking it with any other towns or villages. The project is expected to provide about 60,000 jobs for locals during construction as well as after completion. Saudi Arabian officials hope that it will become one of the world's most futuristic city. They've been looking for opportunities to diversify their economy away from oil and gas, since they believe this industry is not sustainable. Pangios will give them an opportunity to create new industries, such as renewable energy, green technologies, and maritime industries. The idea behind this city is to build a new sustainable urban center, focused on commercial development, while minimizing the environmental impact, through innovative water desalination processes and waste recycling systems. It is estimated that this project will cost Saudi Arabia around $8 billion. The location has not been disclosed, but it would likely be somewhere near the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. Pangios does not have any definite plans for its development or architecture, which leaves much speculation. However, some believe that it will resemble a mix of Dubai's Palm Islands and the Venetian resort Las Vegas. If this were the case, expect hotels, casinos, and yacht marinas to line the shores. Even with no other concrete information about what's planned for Pangio's future, one thing is clear, there are high expectations from Saudis who want their country to become an international tourist destination on par with European nations like France and Italy. They also hope to attract Western investment. This is the first step toward economic diversification, said Minister of Commerce and Investment, Majid Abdullah al Kasabi. We hope this will make our economy less dependent on oil. Points went on to say that people won't need passports or visas when visiting Pangios, instead, they'll just need tickets. I hope Saudi Arabia has learned from past mistakes and that this new city will be sustainable and provide jobs for those living on the water. Even if it does not, I am glad to see Saudi Arabia taking steps toward sustainability. We need more countries like Saudi Arabia to invest in renewable energy sources, because our planet cannot take much more abuse. Well, that's it for today's video, we hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button, you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and get notified, and thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.